The new Dust Devil images and movies from the rover are exciting because in the past we've had individual images um, either from orbit or uh, from the Mars Pathfinder lander. We started getting some individual images of uh, faint Dust Devils from the rovers. Now we're getting these movies that show details in the Dust Devil's appearance uh, much better than any previous images have shown the details and we're getting these every 20 seconds, so we're looking at how the Dust Devil's appearance is changing with time as they move across the surface. You see here three frames of a Dust Devil that passed fairly close to the rover, just at the bottom of the hill the rover is sitting on. This is the best example of detail in the Dust Devil that you can see as one of these goes by the rover. They hit a pocket of dust and get much dustier, and then as they move away from the pocket of dust, the dust in the dust devil gets pushed up into the atmosphere away from the surface and their appearance changes. So we're watching these changes and learning uh, how they interact with the surface better. About two o'clock local time is a time when the ground is at its hottest and it kicks up dust devils as wind passes over the hot ground. What you're seeing is a whole bunch of dust devils moving across the surface with the wind. Dust devils are Martian weather. They're like tornadoes on Earth, uh, but on Earth dust devils are essentially miniature tornadoes. On Mars, they can be quite large, uh, 20 yards up to 200 yards in diameter, and dust devils have been seen from orbit that range to up to five miles high. There's less in this movie than in some of the other movies, but what's impressive about this is the dark smudge on the horizon that's maybe three miles away. This one is much larger than the ones that we have seen closer to us, this one could be something like 200 yards across, more like the ones that we're seeing from orbit that leave the dark streaks on the floor of Gusev Crater. Spirit did another Dust Devil movie on Sol 463. You see several Dust Devils in each frame moving in lockstep with the wind across the surface and actually coming closer to the rover. We expected to see Dust Devils when we first landed, uh, did not and that may have been because it was difficult to see them from where we were. Now we're perched on the hilltop and it's easier, so now that winter is over, we're starting to see them. Uh, we only expect to see more as time goes by into the Martian summer. Possibly we'll see larger ones uh, because we know that dust devils can leave dark streaks along the floor of Gusev Crater where all the dust is picked up. We haven't seen very many dust devils of that scale yet, so we might start seeing some even bigger ones.